I was, and it was noisy, but I didn't mind. Yeah, whatever. So clearly you messed up. <laughs> So now he's got the uh, sill cocked. She's tacking in some shims now so we put the window and they don't move on us. Um, we've got a good half inch or more of play. Now I'll raise it up a quarter inch and the window should slip right in. Then we will um, shim either side to level it. And then Natalie on the inside will check for square. So the next thing is I'm gonna go ahead and cock up around the outside of the window and we'll pass the window through to me and I will hold it in place and then well Natalie levels it. Neat. windows did that um, did learn that we need to pop part of the gear apart to be able to open the window farther from the specs that we read we were supposed to be able to open the window farther it, does, it really doesn't open as far as we thought so in case of emergency we do know that you can pop that gear out which is good then we started on the window here you can see it that is the smallest window of everything we have that's in the downstairs bathroom it is broken Dang it, so set that aside. We actually had it set and then we saw a crack that came along. Um, got the laundry room window in, paint over here, got that window in, which will be my dad's bedroom, and then we're going to work on doing the big window over there using the Bobcat right now to help to stand on it and make it get a little bit higher. We're going to wait on the window behind me. That's going to be the kitchen window, eventually the pass-through window for, or pass-through to the dining room. The reason why we're going to wait on that is because the three really, really big windows are above it. And if something falls, if we drop a hammer or something, we don't want to hit that window. So we're going to wait until those are in. We are going to borrow a lift to do those. We had planned on doing this earlier, but the windows didn't come in. And then today, with the winds, it's just, it's not safe at all. There's no way that we can do it. Um, supposed to have winds like this again tomorrow, and then the temperature's supposed to drop a lot. We actually had a freeze a couple nights ago. And then back in the 70s, you know, that time of year, the doors, um, not the, the main doors, but the garage doors, we're not gonna mess with that. Um, so we're gonna have somebody who knows what they're doing can do it really quickly and install those. The front door, um, we've got the back door, and then the garage door, those hopefully should be coming in. We haven't got a delivery date on those, so we don't really know. So clearly you messed up. <laughs> I did not. I totally did not. What did you do? You what did I do? Yes. So in our excitement to get the windows in, and it being super windy and dust blowing in our eyes, we'll use that as an excuse. Yes. We just uh, started getting this window in there and screwing everything together, and I thought, oh crap, there's two different windows. These windows are the exact same size, but one of them has a sun glazing on it. So I went inside and looked. This is north. Yeah, uh, this is north. You don't need it on this side. No. This side has plenty of shade. 
So now we are trying to get this window out, although it's already cocked in and nailed in on two of the sides anyways, two and a half, heck, three of the sides. <laughs> so now I gotta pull all of our nails out, take this out, and go put it in the other window. We looked at just switching out the, win the window parts themselves, but the way the screws are put in, hey, it wouldn't be any easier so it'd be difficult to do and yes. then by the time you re-screw stuff back in yeah. it may not it line up properly line up, and yeah. you may be just putting a bunch of holes in your frame so so we're going to get all these nails out and you have these screws in the bottom where the metal plate seams them together we're going to take everything out take it over to the other one yeah. so oops better to find out now than after we trim everything not going in this is the right window, right? What? This is the right window? Uh, Are you sure? Did you check it twice? That's the look You're of... on the naughty list. Shut up, right. Tim. I know. Shut up, Tim. Well, it didn't go quite as bad as we thought it'd be. Got it out, got it moved. This is the correct window. Yeah. And then the window... The jacket. I know. What? I bought that for you. It was very expensive. It was. For our standards. Yeah. For our standards. So I went ahead and installed that window over here now. We didn't want to do this because again, we're going to put these tall windows in above and we didn't want to have, um, you know, potential for something falling on here. As you can see on here, solar gains is 17. This is the only thing that identifies which window is what. On this one, solar gain is 26. So this one does not have the in the um, well, the visible transmit is not a big deal, but the solar gain is a little higher on this one. So you want these numbers to be low. The lower these numbers, the better. So that's how I knew that I had the wrong window by accident was because I had a. Uh, see this one's. 17 and it has the sun glazing on it so it's going to block the sun's heat more since right out there is going to be the sun a good part of the day so all the windows on the south and all the windows on the west have the uh, sun sun glazing on it down to a 17 uh, solar gain coefficient all the windows on the north and the windows on the east side don't have those they should be at that one point two six. But move right along with the windows. We've got um, Barry went ahead and cut out the windows in the craft room. I'm calling that the clean room because that's going to be where Natalie's making her soaps and I'm doing bees.
we're going to be putting in these monsters. Isn't that right? How's he helping? <laughs> yeah, really well. Got my neck on that one, bud. So these are five by eight tempered glass uh, super insulated windows and they are really heavy. So now they went ahead and put some additional handles on so we can four man carry it over to um, the lift. So I had a, the farmer who's farming the land actually has a lift and he was gonna let me use it but went to pick it up yesterday and it would not uh, work. So I'm kind of glad I went ahead and rented this because it's a lot smaller, it's a lot newer, it's a lot nicer, the controls are really smooth.
you see my hair. So I look awesome. So when you see these videos, yeah, I know I look homeless. I know I look really scary, but you know what? You gotta get the job done. And if you've been watching my videos, you know that I don't really wear makeup and I am who I am. We are who we are. And that's just kind of how it is. I will wear it on special occasions and I do dress up, but when I'm doing this, I'm not going to. So that's what we have going on. Um, ordered trees a couple days ago. I thought they'd come in next week so that I could plant them next weekend. They came in today. So I have 10 trees sitting in a box.